Let's find out what the competitors are doing here. Oh, 78,000? Oh, come on, my friend. Oh, 65,000. Hey, how about, you, how about you guys step up your game? Falcon's killing it right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Falcon Place Empire TV Tycoon episode number five. This will probably be the last recording of today. And again, I will give you that question again. If you want to see more beyond this point, let me know and I will continue it. Otherwise, we'll probably wrap it up right here. As I mentioned in the first episode, or at least not the first episode, but the one before this one, which would be episode four. Assuming my math is correct here, um, I'm trying not to pile myself up with too many series going into November because I have a few plans for November. So if I have a small amount of series going on, probably the better. And more importantly, if I have a small amount of series that people are looking to watch, then even better. But I just don't necessarily want to keep stuff around that, you know. I could definitely invest a lot more time on the November stuff that I have planned out right now. So yeah, let me know in the comments and by leaving a like and if um, the demand is there, we'll definitely go forward. So for now, let's go to my office. Uh, right now we have... um. Elder people watching Tall Hot Blonde. I really find it odd and <laughs> almost intriguing that elderly people are enjoying a documentary that is, this is a true story of a love triangle that takes place entirely online. It just feels kind of not of sure if, you know, documentary, yes, that could work out, but the, the premise of the documentary itself might not be for the elderly demographic, but hey, who am I to complain? I'm doing amazing numbers over here. Speaking of which, we're at 43 fame, right? We started off at 34 on this day, so already we won a few hours, as a matter of fact. Are we going to kill this hour? I have to imagine we will. Let's find out what the competitors are doing here. Oh, 78,000? Oh, come on, my friend. Oh, 65,000. Hey, how about, you, how about you guys step up your game? Falcon's killing it right now. Alrighty. Uh, I really want to get a fort uh, desk. I don't think I could buy a fort desk. I would have to fire one of my pre-existing workers here. The reason why I want to do that is because I really want to get a marketing agent. So we have some pipe going into our shows, but here we have worker desk level 2. Let's you hire a... F oh, okay, so we do need to get up to fame 75. Gotcha. So we still have to win a few more hours to get up to 75 for our fourth desk. So meanwhile, we can't do it, though, anyway. Now, if I do the movie library resupply line, that could help us out. TV ads as well. Hmm, I should really consider resupplying our ads too, because right now I don't think we have really amazing ones. I'm already set up for the next few hours, I want to say. I'm going to go down and find out what kind of movies are on the block. And then we just got a lot more money, because we got very greedy done. Yeah! Alrighty. So, for the next hour, we're going to go with this uh, TV ad for old people. 93,000. And more than likely, assuming our audience spills over to the next hours, which it should. It's another elderly people coming up. It's going to be the same amount, so we'll get definitely that one out of the way. I'm not even worried about that one. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is the mask and debt race. I could potentially go and resupply our movies and try to gamble a little bit. I mean, that's a possibility as well. The reason why we're going with the mask and debt race is because, unfortunately, there's really nothing else that really meets that requirement for them. Dressing rooms, yeah. What do you guys think? Just go and spend the 50000 and hope for the best? Let's give it a try. So, offer some new movies while playing an established flea? Okay, we'll do it. Alrighty. Let's go find out if the movie library now is looking better for us here. So remember, we have women and lovers, and then we have children, men, and athlete. Movie reroll, 15000 Pay to get a new batch of movies, right. Oh, so not only do I have to pay that guy, but then I have to come down here and pay 15000 and more? Jesus, you guys are bleeding me dry. Okay, well, I guess this already invested 50000 I might as well, so we're going to do that. Is there anything we could sell, though? Beverly Hills? You know what? 6.4 is really good. I feel like we should probably wait for it to refresh again. The fresh is only 28%, mind you, so it's not going up slowly or anything. It's pretty good. Flashdance is um the one we're showing right now. Tough enough is again, oh, you know what? I guess they upped the freshness rating to go up a bit. Because in, when we were playing before the updates hit, the freshness would go up really, really slowly. Now it's already at 70. This is the show that we aired in the top of the hour, or top of the day anyway. Yeah, so the freshness rating does actually reset faster. You know what? I'm going to keep this then. 6.3 is actually really good. And same with the Flash Dance and maybe even the Beverly Hills one, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll keep those around, definitely. Alrighty, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and reroll. And how's their audience? 212, 213,000. Oh my god, so good. Alrighty, so we re-rolled. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, women and lovers, and then children, men, and athletes, right. 
This would be good, but it's two hours. Uh, potentially what I'm looking for is one hour block so we could split up that audience here. Zombie nightmare for women and lovers. I don't really see that happening. Now, is there something in between? Like, maybe... Maybe... Hmm, comedy, action... Like, the women thing doesn't really bother me too much. It's the fact that lovers seem to be more specific for a genre. Like, I really want to find somewhere that's going to meet halfway, but I don't really see anything for halfway. Romance would be amazing for the first hour, but then the second hour would be children, men, and athletes. So I don't really see them watching a romance movie. Do we reroll again? Oh, man, I'm not sure if I want to do that one more time. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Comedy. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's a comedy movie, so for the second hour, we have children, which should enjoy a comedy, and men, who should enjoy a comedy. For, uh, the hour before that, we have lovers and women. Lovers might not enjoy the comedy too much, but women enjoy a comedy as well, right? So, yes, let's go with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids instead. Uh, let's dart ourselves back up, then. I wonder if, when I re-roll, does Silent Bob get more movies as well? That's something else we should probably consider. Let me check that out here really quickly. Silent Bob? Tell me you got some more movies over here, buddy. Um, you do, but... Is that telling me that's pirated? The Skull and Crossbones? <laughs> it must be documentary. 200, 2016, you're in the future, my friend. And 2016, man, this guy's getting movies before they're even on the market. Batman vs. Superman, that's what he's doing. I get it now. Come on. I'm pretty sure if I aired this on my television um, channel, people would figure out I'm airing a pirated movie, considering they're not even out yet. Okay, Silent Bob, you, you want to, like, get me fucked here. Let's be honest here, buddy. I, I'm not really down for your games right now. I don't care how much of a high level the hacker do I have. There's no way I'm getting through the executives. Oh, hey, guys, I just um, happen to be airing on television Batman vs. Superman. You know that movie that's really hyped up for the theaters next year? Yeah, I'm already airing it on television. Okay. So we're going to meet that one without a doubt. Next hour... Oh, yeah, let's do this really quick. Oh, shit, I got to do this really fast. Okay, movies, movies. Oh, where's the one that I wanted to do? Where is it? Honey, I shrunk the kids. Whew. Right on time. Falcon. Cutting it kind of short there, buddy. That's what she said. Um, let's see. Women and lovers. Any ads for them? Nope. But I'm pretty sure we can use some of the random audiences for that. So we will. Let's get rid of these as well. Is there anything we're kind of close on? I'm going to say Menta Spice. We have three blocks. Panushi's Pizza requires five blocks. Alabama requires two. Well... Let's, um, let the movie start up. Oh, it's already on. 240,000, let's see how we're doing here. How are you guys doing? Oh, no, that was a spillover. Women love it, and lovers are, again, you know, pretty whatever about it. I figured as much. Uh, 129,000, are we gonna go high up? 129? 130? Yeah, it seems like we're kind of sticking around that area, right? So, let's go into TV ads and... We'll go with Panushi's Peaks to get that one out of the way, or should we just go with Alabama? But that's only 34,000. No, we'll go with the higher one. Start working at Panushi's Pizza, which requires five blocks, mind you. So I think that's fine. Now for the next hour, men, athlete, and children. We have one more for athlete, so we get rid of this ad finally, and we also have the Apollo candy bar for kids. The global gym expires tomorrow, though, so that's something we should really consider. Oh, this one expires tomorrow, too. Um, okay, let's do Mellow Yellow. Because it's 97,000, so I'm sure we'll have 97,000 for the next slot anyway. Uh, that's good. Now, the Sundancer Awards. Uh, I, I guess I can't do anything with that one, right? PC Masteries, that's my movie. But we're not airing that until after the awards, more than likely. All right, let's skip over to the Zero Hour. Lovers again, more athletes, and women. Do I have a one hour... Nope, we have Rollerball, but again, we can't spill over into one o'clock because that's our quest movie, which we already have set up. So we need a, a one-hour film for maybe women, athletes, and lovers. Okay. Let's see here. One hour, we have a western. We have Little Voice, a musical. Mm, no, I don't think that's the audience for that. Dead Race, you know, action movie. PC Master Race, you can finally show my movie. No, The Mask. I guess we could just probably go with The Mask. It's obvious that women enjoy a comedy. Do athletes enjoy a comedy? I'm not sure. I, I hope they do. I know they would enjoy more of a sports-related movie, obviously, but... I mean, we'll probably have Tough Enough ready by then, too, which is 6.3. It's already at 84 freshness. I think in two more hours, it'll probably go up. I'm going to set up Tough Enough right here. And... 
Although, you know what? When I set up Tough Enough up here, they were pretty, like, you know, neutral about it. The athletes were. But, would a game show work with women and lovers? Possibly. I'll use it again. I'll, I'll, I'll take a stab at it. Now, late night television, we have women and elders, one hour slot. Mm, debt race, PC master race, we have the mass comedy. Tough enough. I feel like maybe the elderly people would enjoy a reality show more. Is that something they enjoy? They watch that. Oh, we have a little voice though. Musical for elderly people, maybe? Western? Ah, uh, they would probably enjoy a good Western, right? Yeah, you know what? It's a low audience, it's a low rated movie. We'll go with the Americano. That's fine. Um, so we're gonna definitely meet this ad, right? Yes. Next on the agenda is what? Mellow Yellow? That's gonna easily be mad. Now, for Tough Enough, reality show. Uh, women and lovers real game show. That's a game show, not a reality show. Well, technically, it's a reality show. Quote unquote. Um, for that one. Hmm. Panushis, we have five blocks, we have two blocks. I almost want to, like, get something centered towards athletes because then, at the very least, we'd get rid of Global Gym finally. The thing is, I have nothing for them. For athletes, that's what I meant. Uh, we'll see what the audience is looking like, and then we'll sub in some ads after we're in that hour and see if we can actually meet it. So I think for now, we're basically done here for the day because we have everything set up. Is that Mr. T? I look like Mr. T. Yeah, if everything's set up, we can start looking into tomorrow, though. So I don't, like, run into that issue yet again. Uh, next morning, we're looking at lovers and children, right? Okay. Lovers and children. Movies for them. Are we in the hour already? With the comedy block? Yes. Hold up one second. Uh, I want to make sure we're fine here. Oh, let's um, get on out of here. Speed it up. There we go. We're looking at 111,000. Our TV ads will succeed. Kids are actually enjoying the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids as much as I expected. Men and athletes are kind of like, eh, whatever about it. But as long as we keep 113, yeah, we're going up. That's fine. We will definitely meet our ad. And we'll get some mellow yellow down to one block, which is fine. All right, so that's perfectly okay. Let's go into tomorrow then. Lovers and children. Right. Right, right, right. What do I have for you guys? Lovers and children. I'm not sure if I have anything for you guys, really. Unless you enjoy a good musical. Oh no, but we're using Little Voice for the, um, quest. Yeah, so next we have women. So we could have like a spillover, a two hour spillover, that could work out too. So we could maybe do not rollerball. Oh, we have rollerball too. Huh. Huh. Athletes and athletes. Rollerball. I changed my mind. I didn't even know I had that. There you go. Athletes and athletes. And you know what? We might be able to hit these people up with the um, other ad, the Global Gym. Get rid of that one. And after we're done with Mellow Yellow, we'll probably get rid of that one too, assuming our audience spillover is still high. So let's go with maybe Mellow Yellow up here and hope for the best. And then we'll do Global Gym down here. And we'll see how the audience is and we might swap them out. Okay, back over here though. Lovers and children. Uh, now that we made room with that Rollerball movie, maybe something's available? Lovers would be great with that one, however, I'm not sure if the Freshness rating will be high up by that point. We still have like four hours. It would come close. It would come very, very close, as a matter of fact. You know what? Let's give it a try. And then for women, next hour we have... Hmm... They enjoy the comedy. That, that much we do know, right? With Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So we could go with a comedy for an hour. We could give them the mask. Then again, it's a uh, low audience, so we should probably go with something with a terrible rating to just to exhaust that. We have Shark Top, as that's pretty much a terrible rating right there. <laughs> uh, I almost want to use Shark Top as up here. You know? Just because some um, children will enjoy the comedy, and so will women, and then we'd have to worry about the freshest rating of that one. Plus, it's a 2.9 movie, and it's a low audience anyway. So why put something high rated on a terrible audience um, block, you know? So yeah, let's do that one. Oh, finally I have Geeks again. Great. Hey, I had some movies for you that I... You guys have just been lost in the whole shuffle here. Western, sports, sci-fi. You guys would enjoy a good sci-fi. Not sure if the women would too, but... Let's see. So sci-fi, we have 3.4. This is going to be two blocks, however. 
Not sure if I want to invest two blocks in that. Drama. And that's about it. Okay. Battlefield Earth. I mean, depends what our audience next hour after that would be. I could use Battlefield Earth. It's a both terrible movie and everything, but 3.4 rating of. It's kind of pushing it a little bit. Alrighty. Let's, um, where are we at? We're gonna get our Mellow Yellow done, and then we'll have the Sundance Rewards. I'm not sure we should probably get a special event for that. Or no. Hmm. Let me go ahead and delete some of the stuff we've already done here. Oh, here we go, the Sundance Rewards. Uh, 250,000. No TV ad scheduled for this block, because I can't. Um, and that's it. So, category action. I gave PC Master Race a, a shot here. Maybe PC Master Race will, like, you know, blow up after the awards. Maybe we'll get some awards here and we will do good. And then that's going to be, like, a really high price movie that everyone wants to see. I'm not sure. I'm taking a gander here, obviously. Uh, let's see. Audience, Anna's level 2. Let's actually spend some money, I'm going to say. Let's go to my worker's office. Come over here and upgrade the worker. Yes. Okay. So, 56 fame. Oh, award winners. Dear Falcon, the Sundance Awards for the best action production are finished and the winners have been selected. Press the button below to view the winners in each category. Congratulations to the winners. Okay, guys, here we go. Did the PC Master Race movie do anything good? Best movie, Early Access sucks. <laughs> Funny, I get it. Best director, Nathan Barnes. Uh, best script, Early Access sucks. And best leading actor, Will Flutch. Talk, let's see. Excuse me? Oh, I'm the... Oh, I came in third place in Best Director. At least I was in the running. Oh, wait a minute, that's me. Oh, dude, Best Movie, we were second place. So the blue people or the blue um, executives beat us out on that one. And then for Best Director, I was last place in that one. So I didn't even come close. I was a terrible director. Best Script, we came in second place for that one. Early Access sucks. Uh, let's see. Best Leading Actor was um, Nod... Our person, because ours is Satin and Satin Kidman. Hey, but we got the best secondary actor in Ben Wayne. <laughs> hey, at least we got an award. You know what? I'm happy with one award. I I will be content with that. Okay. Great. So I guess we didn't. I guess we could have aired it, or we could not air. It doesn't really matter. So they're over here leveling up. How are we doing with our ad here? I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Okay. TV ad is going to fail. That's no good. This is rollerball, right? My athletes are not doing good enough. I ima yeah, women hated. Lovers are actually kind of neutral about a sports movie. I at least figured this would be the opposite, you know? Interesting. So our our audi our ad's not gonna meet the requirement here, so we should probably swap it out to the lower one. I was hoping that the mellow yellow would work out because of that one, but no. So I think we go down here and we swap them out. Because we could still at least hit the global gym. Because that's only an audience of 59,000. So. That goes away. That comes over here. The problem is women is the one is the people that really hate the sports movie. So I don't think we'll be able to plug in Mellow Yellow in here because it's only like two audiences we're splitting now. So that's gonna even be low. Plus it's late night television, which is the um, terrible hour slot anyway. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that happened. So be it. Let's see. We're at two hundred seventy-two thousand. We will at least get the Global Gym one for a fact. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, Americano was set up over here for the last one, and let's go into tomorrow. So Shirk Top is where we're going with here, at least children should enjoy that one. Women, you know, they shown that they enjoy a good comedy as well. Uh, let's see, oh, Geeks for two hours, perfect. That's what I was hoping for, because now what I could do is actually set up that terrible Battlefield Earth movie here. It's 3.4 though, man. I don't think I ever bought that one, right? That was already in my pre existing category when I started the game, because I don't think I would buy that movie, even as a joke. Because <laughs> it seems like a really terrible joke. Let's go to my movie library, and maybe, maybe, acquire something for the uh, geeks for the next two hours. We have Alien vs. Ninja, one block, 4.6. You know what? A one-slot movie would be fine, because the next audience is going to be geeks again, but it has a little bit more of a mixed audience as well. Balls out! That sounds like a movie I would buy just because that's how I roll. Um, let's go with the... Let's go with the Alien Ninja. 
That's okay. It's only 13,000 anyway. Get on out of here, Blue. You beat me into wards. Let's go to the build entrance. At least I'm beating you with the fame, buddy. That's what really matters here. It's all about the ratings, not even the awards. I could care less about the awards. Uh, Batman vs. Superman is still on sale. Yeah, I'm still not sure if I want to gamble with that one right now. I'm still iffy about it. Okay, we'll jump back up to our office and let's plan out tomorrow here a tad bit if we can. We have audience analysts leveling up and we have the hacker leveling up. Uh, let's see. Excuse me? No! Global Gym's not gonna make it? We're losing audience at the end of the hour! No! 59,000. Dude, we're not. We're gonna get some penalties from these uh, mats then. 59,500. We lost. It's the women's fault? <laughs> it's the women's fault. Okay, we'll move Global Gym down here. I suppose. We're not gonna meet that one, right? Yeah, we're 56,000. So we'll move Global Gym down here and give it one more try. The women are the ones that are bringing that one down a little bit. Excuse. Oh! <gasps> I realized uh, my grave error. Remember my my movie, the, the the flash voice for that audience that won? When I put Rollerball over here, I went over it. I just basically screwed myself out of 113,000. I'm a little bit salty right now. I am a little bit salty. Remember it was like last episode, I was kind of like, yeah game, I already know. Don't tell me about the musical thing, I already have it set up. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. I'm not a happy camper right now. That was 113,000, which we could have really, really used, mind you. Okay. <laughs> if there's any sort of um, comfort, is that hopefully Global Gym will give me some money at least, and we'll get rid of that ad finally. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. We'll see. All right, let's go back to this movie for tomorrow, though. I'm really upset about that one, but I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it slide. I'll try to ignore it for now. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna be ruining my game even more. Alien vs. Ninja down over here. Now, next one we have men, children, and geeks. Men, children, and geeks. Okay. And then following up, we have lovers. That's gonna be a really interesting movie setup over here because of the lovers over here in between this here too. Uh, we do have the Beverly Hills show, so that could be at one hour right there, which is fine. Men, children, and geeks, one hour. Uh, little voice, we have the Tough Enough show. Game show for geeks, what do you think that'll work out? Tough Enough? I know that the kids didn't like the game show last time, yesterday anyway, over here, the Tough Enough one. They were like, you know, neutral about it. Even athletes were neutral about it. Would men be neutral about it? That's my big concern. Debt race, uh, the mask, comedy, I mean, that could work, that could work. Like do this right here, like a bunch of one hours. Shark Top is set up for comedy, for women and lovers and kids, and then we have Alien vs. Ninja for the geeks, the mask for just whatever, lovers specifically right here, that's gonna be pretty good, okay. Um, so far the ad will succeed assuming we stay at 68,000, but it can change on us, so we'll see how that one plays out. Now, uh, the Americano, we have no ad over here set up. I would like to put one over here. We have 93,000 for Empire Retirement Castle. That's going to be the audience we're aiming for right here. The only problem is I don't think we could meet 93,000. Like, not by any stretch of the imagination. So, I'm thinking for now we put Alabama Fried because I don't think we'll hit this one. That's fine. We should have a few room for ads now, so let's go to the ad agency and find out what they have for sale over here. Alrighty. Do you have anything new or anything good? Actually, I guess you have nothing new until I re-roll you. Uh, genre, we're looking for audience, no? Alright, here we have, we have some geek ones over here. We don't have any geek um, ads, which we should, like have like a little bit of diversity happening here. Uh, this would be two blocks, which we could actually easily meet. Tomorrow, I want to say. 91,000 will be our reward. Ah, uh, let's see. Then we have Martina's Secret. Two blocks, 51,000. Relatively low. Relatively low. Mmm. Like, I really want to have some of these low audience ones for the... Uh, the non-primetime hours, the low audience hours. So, I mean, we definitely need something like that over here hanging around. So, even though it's gonna take up my last two slots, though, isn't it? Because right now we have room for two more of them. This would be it right here. I think it's probably worth it. 
probably worth it. Yeah, we'll pick up Martina's Secret and Watermelon. Okay. So, there we go. Let's come over here. 258,000. Not too bad. We'll go back to my office over here. And at least we should be able to get the Mellow Glow finally this time around. So that's going to be some money right there. We messed ourselves up with the quest there, but that's okay. At least we got Global Gym out of the way now. Americano should be able to meet the Alabama Fried one. So let's go into tomorrow. We have Lovers and Children. TV ads for them. We have Apollo Candy Bars. 63,000. 63, Can we do 63,000 with Shark Tapas for kids? I'll give it a try, but I, I'm kind of doubtful about it. Now, women. Martina's Secret? Maybe. Maybe they might enjoy a comedy enough for that one. So that's going to be for them. And then we have Alien vs. Ninja. We have Geeks and Women. I know we have the Geek one down here. Watermelon. So we'll place that one there. Which is going to be sci-fi. That's going to definitely hit. Comedy. We have Geeks, Children, and Men. Men. We could maybe do this one. Maybe. We'll see how it plays out. Alright, so we got the Soglo one, right? Or not the Soglo. I'm still, I'm still on Soglo. It's been a while back now, Falcon. Pretty good. So, the Americano. The Americano, the um, elderly people love it, and women hate it. I figured as much. I figured that would probably happen. Alright, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the episode, if you want to see more beyond this point, let me know, and I will again gauge the response and go forward. Otherwise, we will wrap it up here for a fact. But at least you have enjoyed it so far. That's my big concern, hopefully. And um, other than that, I will catch you next time.